Hello and welcome to the production car challenge. We are in the Mazda. We're at Sakuba. Let's say we're at Sakuba. Whatever. Uh, blah 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 blah. We have got ourselves our major's garage free setup, and uh, it's feeling pretty good, like usual. Baseline plus free stuff, but it's always a uh, pretty darn good. I do say so myself. Pretty unstable the first couple of laps, so I do have to be careful, especially around some of these uh, sharper corners and that final corner headed to the start finish line. That can definitely get you uh, sideways if I'm not careful for the first couple of laps. But beyond that, it's pretty fast. And I'm feeling pretty good. At the uh, fastest time in open practice, but of course, the experts never seem to show up for practice. And then they come in here with their alien times, so... Well, let's just try to do our best here. We get a good run of the line. Alright, so far so good. I'm just above uh, hitting the one minute, one second mark. Be cool to hit that. Ooh, overdrove that a little bit, maybe. Now we got the drive off. Um, be cool to hit that, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm quite capable. Maybe, uh, ooh, once we get the draft. Got the left sides in the grass a little bit there. Maybe I should have uh, been swerving a little bit more in the outlap to try to get the tires warmed up a bit, but I think we should be okay. New fastest lap for Black, 103.58. beat that. It's the first time I've heard the crew chief guy say. P2. Two. Alright, that's good, that's good. I think we can uh, improve it here. The guy behind has just done a 102.90. Always like ra uh, racing this course. The has just done a One of the few road courses I'm pretty familiar with, just because of my time playing Gran Turismo, as we pass the Gran Turismo sign over there. But I'm sure I've mentioned that before. Previous races here. All right, good lap going here. That's a pretty key corner. You can gain a lot of time there if you hit that right, and uh, conversely lose a lot of time. That is the other side of that coin. And all right, good lap, good lap. I'm happy with that. Less than a tenth slower than That's my pole. best. That lap time was According to Spotter Man, that is pole. Not of the uh, Mustangs, of course, but of the Mazdas. We are pole by a tenth right now. And by about half a second to the guy in fourth. That's all good stuff. Long race, so I'm not going to be trying to battle anybody too early on in the race. I haven't really looked at seeing what other, uh, what other cars we got in here. As usual, it's pretty much... Advanced Mazda featuring other cars sometimes. At least it looks like the Mustang's pretty well fast. Pretty well faster than we are, so. Hopefully we won't have any trouble coming up on them or anything. That can happen sometimes. It's still wreck or something, but hopefully that's not gonna happen either. I guess we can go ahead and park it and look at some stuff. Let's see. Still waiting on some people. Okay, we got a couple different cars in here. So we got one Mustang, so congrats on your win, Jake Janjevic. Janjevic, I guess. <laughs> From Australia slash New Zealand. Then we've got every Mazda on the planet, including myself. 
We got four Jettas. That's a decent little race they got going on in the Jettas. Of course, they're probably going to be in the mix with the Mazdas. They usually kind of mix in a little bit, even though they're a little slower. And then the Solstices as well. We got three. So that's interesting. Usually it's a bunch of Mazdas and then maybe a handful of Mustangs. And then sparingly some of the other classes. But this time it's one Mustang. And I guess they're staying in it, even though their race doesn't mean anything. They don't gain or lose any eye rating. From this, I guess you could probably get safety rating. Not entirely sure how that works if it's if you're not competing against anyone in your class, but I guess you would be competing for safety rating. Plus the overall win for whatever that means to you. Bragging rights, essentially, is what you get from that. Ivan Santani is pitting in. Their first name got messed up because of display reasons, I guess. I don't know. But just about 30 seconds here. Doesn't look like everyone's going to be ready. So we're just going to have to wait. Are we still uh, on the pole for the Mazdas? Yes, we are. Nice. So my biggest concern starting out here is keeping it clean around the other cars. Hopefully one will get caught up in whatever they're doing and uh not wrecking myself as well because like i said it is pretty unstable the first couple of laps so i'm gonna have to be careful with the throttle careful how much i'm That's turning the wheel careful how hard i'm driving in just gotta have to be smooth early on and then once we get uh past that point and get some space i think we'll be good and hopefully have a nice 25 minute race here at sakuba Oh, that's right. We will race. actually be the leader here, too. Pit road is closed right now. So we are going to be up front. Where did the Mustang go? Oh, he's going to be the control car on the right. Okay. So we'll give him a little bit of space, but I don't think we need to do anything too drastic. We'll let him get out ahead just a tiny bit. But we really don't have that much time before we get to the start finish line to be honest so not really necessary to give too long of a leash apparently my chat was muted so I hope no one was saying anything don't want to be rude by accident if someone's like hey nice pole or something so that is the Mustang we'll be seeing out here Mark Randall Paniculon is pitting in and leaving. Goodbye, Mark, I guess. I don't know why I'm saying everyone's name. <laughs> Holden Tyndall, the number one. Did I mention I'm the number one? That's fantastic. So when I get wrecked out, I'm going to lose 2,000 I rating, but oh well. <laughs> Are we ready yet, guys? 10 seconds, but they are, whether they are ready or not. I'm eager to get this thing going. Excited. This is always a fun track to race for me. The air temp is 66. So, we're going to let the Mustang go a little bit, but not too much. Nothing too crazy. Get ready. I just give him a car length or two. Follow the pace car in the right column. Okay, get pace ready. Pace car is off. Time to do your job. Let's go. Green flag. Green flag. Yeah, I hope I did that all right. I've never had to do that uh, in a multi-class race. I wanted to give a little bit of space. Also kind of a weird situation, so. I just tried to keep a consistent pace. I make it clear when I was going, no start and stop. And what the fuck, man? What the fuck? Okay, that man is angry. Um <laughs> Hopefully my start was okay. 
complain enough about other people's starts. I hope I can uh, back myself up and be a uh, good starter of the race. So far so good, we're already a second ahead. I guess they're battling each other back there a little bit. I saw one guy go off already. Hey, if this is a boring race, something went well. Ooh, almost double shifted there. I am glad I didn't. That would have been very embarrassing and bad. The next car's the leader. Next car's the leader. Watch my Mustang friend. He'll be driving away from us, I imagine. I had a faster time in qualifying. I imagine they're going to have faster average lap, lap time as well. Still being delicate. With the car. I'm so much better at driving road whenever I'm not racing other people. So, maybe I can get out to a lead here and then actually be able to keep it. It's about the only way I'm going to be able to have any success, I think. Is if I'm away from other people. So once I start getting side by side and trying to leave room and thinking about having to, having to make passes and all that stuff is when I start falling apart. So, if we can avoid that, that'd be great. Car's starting to feel a little bit better. Still early. Car is getting a little bit of heat in the tires. It's very welcome and very nice to feel. So it means I can start driving how I want. Instead of, uh, you know, on thin ice. It's fine, you got loads. Check my fuel just in case. I always have to trust uh, Major's Garage to put enough fuel in there. I guess I don't have to, I could always like check, you know? That would probably be the smart thing to do, but they, uh, they've only been questionable once, and that was at, I believe, Olton Park? Where I ran out of fuel going through the last corner or so, and that was not great because I lost a position, but nothing too major from ma was. Major's Garage. About two seconds back to Mr. Lance Yu back there. I believe he was the second fastest in the open practice for the race. So we know he's got speed. Can't underestimate. Can't underestimate you. Uh -huh. Stop. Please, no, please don't click off the video. Stop, please. I'm sorry. good though. Consistent laps so far. All I can really ask for. So far so good. We're gaining. Still gaining on the people behind. Uh, I feel like I'm not having to force it either. I'm definitely going to jinx myself by saying this, but I don't feel like I'm even like, you know, going 110 or anything either, where I'm going to end up nice. crashing myself, you know, like on edge or anything crazy. Like, I feel like I'm just having a nice smooth race. It's feeling good. What a great time here in Japan. I'd love to visit Japan in real life. That'd be awesome. But uh, that costs money. I don't have that. <laughs> Maybe soon. Working on it. By working. Yeah. You know how it is. Not all of it goes to iRacing, I promise. I'm going to keep an eye back there. We've got a new person in second place. We'll see if they can charge toward us. Ooh, a little bit tight there. We're fine. I got on it a little bit hard, maybe. That was a 102.20. 
Mustang's pulling away. I'll miss seeing my friend up there. I don't know a guy. It's more than anything, I'm anthropomorphite. Oh my god, what's that word? Anthropomorphizing? I don't know. I'm giving human features to this Mustang ahead of me. I'm like, oh, see you later, Mustang. Pardon my inability to speak the English language. It's not like I do a racing channel where the main point is to race and speak. So it's not like that skill would come in handy at all. We are going to be catching some slower cars here before too long. i got to remember that that's going to be a factor as well. I was saying, like, oh, as long as we make it past these first uh, couple laps smoothly and everything, everything will be a nice smooth drive. Well, we'll see about that. We'll see what the lap cars have to say about that. As usual. Because sometimes the production car challenge can be... The production clown circus. Let's not let that happen. This this series has uh, pretty consistently been either some of the most fun racing I've uh, done on the service. Great com competition, and we got the added spice of the other classes. And I've had races that are so good in this series before. And uh, other races where that's not true. <laughs> Quite the opposite, in fact. That last lap was a 102.56. Well, let's hope uh, they're able to keep it together as we're going by them and all that. Still going to keep an eye on this three. They look like they were ca catching up a little bit, maybe. They were about a tenth up on that. On us that lap, I think. Make sure I'm hitting my marks. Don't throw this away. I've been finishing second a whole lot lately. If you watched uh, any of my videos, I've been throwing away leads, finishing second in just heartbreaking ways. And uh, let's not do that again. Let's try to actually get this one done. So we'll be coming up on actually a Mazda, it looks like. So our own class, they must have had issues. Or just one singular big issue with a capital I. Mm -hmm. Well, we gotta get through a solstice first, it looks like, actually. Oh boy, why do they have to. I don't know if they have to be in a cluster. Hello, sir. Do you mind if I go on by? Don't hit me. On the All right, well, that hurt us on speed, but the other guy's got to get past him, too, so we're not too bad. Okay, he's slowing down for us. I wasn't planning on diving it in on him, but uh, he gave it to us. It's a time where maybe communication would be good, but you'd be talking the whole race if he communicated every pass, so kind of don't blame him for not saying anything. I figured it out. I just, uh, I want to try to avoid doing anything too rash. Diving in on a guy or something. No reason for that. Your last lap time was a 103.25. Uh oh, yeah, crash. Where is it? Oh, it's my thing. Right. He's not racing anyone. Reminder. So. I'm not going to be too concerned about letting him by quickly. I hope he's not too concerned about getting by quickly. The faster class cars are catching. Okay, Colton. 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. Pardon me, sir. Car on your left. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. Hope he uh, does not battle me. Naive me thinking just racing the track was going to be all I needed to do. 
poor naive me. There's a lot more to do in this race before it's over. So I just gotta remember to keep an eye on the Mustang back there. They will be catching. Particularly on the straights. Got the right side's a little bit close to the grass down there. You gotta be careful doing that. Because you can end up spinning yourself if you get a little bit too familiar with the right side of the course down there. Oh my god. I thought he was diving it in. Maybe he tried. I don't know. I'm not battling anyone, man. Like, your faster car, just wait for the right chance. Literally here alone. I'd be able to get it here. Unless he is choosing to be patient. Maybe. Okay, Colton. Halfway home. Fuel's good. Car on. Okay, I guess he is. Clear on the right. Better get your booty moving then. So I got two seconds, two and a half seconds, and uh, decreasing back to the guy behind me. So I'm gonna need you to stop locking your tires up and giddy up. We'll get a little bit of draft for a minute. That's nice. Maybe offset the little bit of time we lost letting him by. Hey, that was uh, a bit not so smooth. Between these two. Pardon me, sir. The next car's the leader. Clear. All right, navigated that well enough, I think. The gap behind is now We've done a fair number of laps. Ten and a half minutes still. So. Alright. These races are nice and long. Enjoy that as well. Probably the longest series I do road racing wise. I'd like to do more longer races. I don't think I own very many cars that do distance racing though. I have to look at the series a little bit some more. That lap was a 102.51. And of course I uh will eventually continue to expand my horizons on road racing. I'm looking into uh, some more USF 2000 type vehicles, like the, uh, the new F4 they have. It's F4, right? That's the new one, F4. And then uh, they also have the F3 I was looking at. Those all could be fun, because I really... Oops, messed up that corner. Those uh, all kind of look like the USF 2000, but with more participation. Which sounds like a good combo to me. 
So if I get a new car, that might be the next new one I get. One of those. And I think that'll be fun. I've really uh, grown an appreciation for road racing. It used to be strictly oval racing for me. And uh, I started doing uh, Rookie Mazdas. Just uh, to mix things up a bit and started learning those. Got pretty decent at it and uh, had a lot of fun and then the formula V's came out and that's when I really started getting more into road racing because Nick Nieben you know his channel I'm sure if you are at my channel you know of his channel um, he did a formula knee <laughs> when they first came out and so I was practicing the Formula V to practice for that and doing races and uh, I'm learning that as well and uh, I've just been doing uh, road racing ever since through the Rookie series, the Rookie Mazda and the Formula V. I do it every week even if I don't record it anymore. Uh, that's how I've continued to start learning more road racing. So that's something to talk about. Well, trying to hold off this uh, three back there. He's got good pace. And I keep messing up this corner for some reason. Gonna have to stop doing that. Got a Jetta coming up. I hope we catch them before we get to turn one, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, so what about we're, gonna, man? we're gonna have to uh, navigate the this guy in the more technical intersection. That lap was a 102.86. Well, I'm starting to overdrive a lot. I think maybe the tires might be uh, wearing a little bit, so I'll have to uh, adjust my braking accordingly. I hope he's letting me by and not just going to cut down to the left here. He's not letting me by. To the left. Can you back off there? I don't know. Clear. So we lost a ton of time there. It's not comforting, but hey. Did mess up this corner this time. It's a plus. <laughs> Looking at the positives here. We lost about a second because of that. Every little bit matters, but you know, you gotta think. They gotta get past the Jetta too. Cops. Just gotta hope they don't catch him in a better spot or something, like on this uh, straightaway where they're not gonna have any trouble getting by him. Looks like they're gonna. I'm gonna worry about what they're doing back there. Let me focus on myself. We'll see later whenever they at least check the distances. Okay. Which are gonna shrink if I keep moving right in the corners. Again, don't know if they were intentionally letting me by or if they just overdrove it there, but... Alright, got that done. Messed up that corner. To get back into a rhythm. That's the thing, too. Passing these lap cars, it kind of messes with your rhythm a bit, because you got to take a different line than normal. And, uh... That can get you off, off, off uh, rhythm. It's not what you want on these road courses. You want to get in a rhythm here. Especially the longer ones. Kind of like short track racing. You hear the same thing about being in a rhythm. Gonna catch this solstice at a bad time. Looks like going into turn one. That lap time was they are going to be on the racing line very slow. Please, please get out of the way. Right side. Clear on the right. It's uh, not something I have enough experience with, because this is the only multi-class series I've ever really done here in the production car challenge, so... Navigating 
That bar is something I still need work on. So that's probably why the guys behind are having a better time of it. Knowing how to do it better. Losing less time. It's just a skill I still need to improve on. So I just gotta plan ahead and think a little bit more about uh, how I'm going about Sector one is catching zero, up to the fellows. Still feeling good though. Only got a couple minutes left. It looked like about uh, four minutes, so it's probably about three and a half minutes now that I'm done yapping about it. And that's pretty good. Only a couple laps to go then. Four, three or four. I think we can hold this two and a half second lead until then. Oh, even if I do mess up this corner frequently. Got a decent runoff that time at least. So even though we've been out ahead, it hasn't been uneventful getting past these lap cars. Navigating lap traffic. And I think I can go ahead and say this has been the production car challenge this time. And that's the production clown circus. <laughs> Everyone's been pretty good so far, as far as I've seen. The gap behind is now 2.2 seconds. Still holding steady, about two and a half seconds back behind us. Driving this corner again. No, I got it stopped. Haha, -ha, just kidding. I tricked you. I hit that corner just fine. Actually, it was kind of slow, but I didn't overdrive it as much, maybe. Could have been smoother. Probably. Two minutes to Coming up on two another minutes. Mazda. It can always be a little tricky if you catch up to a car in the same class, because if they choose to be a butt about it, race you, then they might end up alongside you for a while, because, you know, you've theoretically got the same amount of speed. So hopefully he does not give us a headache. Or a bump in the booty. Anything like that. I've said booty, I think, three times now in this race. That might be a new record. Oh, I see smoke up ahead. I hope they're not going to try to crash in front of me. Still overdriving this corner. Time to stop doing that, please. It's just it's not gripping as much as it did early in the race, so... I'm driving it like I think I can, and... Not so much anymore. Last lap. Oh, last lap! Here we come! One to go! It would take a choke of epic proportions to throw this one away and get a second place. So let's not do it, even though I am overdriving corners still. The tires are pretty bad at this point. Are you going to let me by? Okay. That's cool. Thank you, man. Pardon me, excuse me, thank you. Clear on the right. I've got a race to go win. I'm trying. I'm trying to wreck it. <laughs> I messed up that corner. Let me not mess this corner up out of principle. Just to say I didn't mess it up on the final lap at least. Kind of went slow through there, but... Looks like I can feel a little better about that. And the final corner. Kept it smooth, kept it clean, navigated the lap traffic, and we got a win! You got a toy car on the Hooray! Right. You got a toy car on the right. You won! Fantastic drive! Fantastic! I don't know if I've ever heard that you one before. Good race, today. Good race. It, was, uh, it was a lot of fun.
Yay! Have I won one of these before? I think I've won one of these when they used to go to the ovals. Like when they went to Homestead and stuff, which doesn't really count. But I don't know if I've won a, a standard race here before. Celebratory cone bumpage. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> I know the celebratory cone couplage was a little wild. It's all right. It'll be okay. So, we were supposed to win, so can't feel too crazy about it. But, you know, it always feels good to get the W. Let's see what did happen out there. Maybe it won't look uh, so rosy from farther back in the field. It looked pretty good to me. It looked pretty clean. But I wasn't really back in the thick of it, now was I? Baby Blue gets just bodied. Yikes. On lap one, too. So that wasn't so fantastic. A couple more people suffer from it, too. Oh, that's a nice Nesquik Jetta. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Some door bumpers. Is this guy going to do a U-turn in front of someone? Nah, he's just going to hit the wall again. Getting it around. Oh, I blinked. What happened? <laughs> uh, oh, that's, that's some net code. That shouldn't have happened. That stinks. Two guys from Japan. Six didn't give him very much room, but it should have been just enough. That shouldn't have reacted that way at all, though. That stinks. They still finished okay, though, I think. Oh, Nakamura ended up back there. That stinks. I think their car's broken. That's no good. The flames make this guy too fast, and he dives in and hits the red car. We got Jet of Violence coming up, maybe? Eh, just barely. It's all over the guy in front of him there. What's a Nesquik gonna do? Overdrive it. Oh my gosh. No, he's not. I mean, he did a little bit, but... <laughs> he gets taken out from behind. He's using him as brakes. There's no reason he should be going that fast at that point in the corner. Like, the guy in front of him overdrove it. And then he overdrove it even harder. So that was some jet of violence. It pretty much almost looked identical, too, right there. Just uh, less of a hit. Here's what happened to the Mustang. Chooses to turn it around. Gets it done, though, before anyone shows up. There's me getting around him. We only ended up uh, five seconds off of the Mustang at the end there, it looks like. Yeah. Solstice. So the Mazda catches up to him really quick, and I feel like you might see him in the mirror and he guesses it up too early because he's trying to get away from him. But then it just causes more problems because he ends up in the grass. I'm sure the 11's not happy about that one. Multicolor one. Rear ends. Gentlemen, oh my god, a dive bomb and a half. See, this is what I'm used to seeing in this series. Oh my, he's several car lengths back. And already damaged, too. Like, oh my lord. Like, he's not even there. Yeah, of course, he doesn't uh, have any consequence from it. This is an odd one. So the red car is trying to make the pass. He doesn't really have the nose on him. Pink gives him barely any room, but he just does not back off. 
you're not really there, and he's just forcing the issue to the point where he just eventually wrecks the pink Mazda. So that's kind of not cool on the red car's part. I'm going to blame them for that one. It's way aggressive. Like, you're about to come on in this long straight. You just use the draft, maybe. Get alongside him a little bit more, and then pass him into turn one or something. Wow. Well, Since so Solstice going to cut down to get them, they've been a bit of a problem. They've already wrecked someone before. Oh my gosh, this red car. We're wrecking another person. You're sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. No. And now is he, he's wrecking him on purpose? Because he's off him and he's like turning to the left. Oh my gosh. Good. Finish all the way back there. I'm glad he did not finish well because he's a. I hear the uh, the clown nose is a honking in the distance. That one's not on the 21, that's on the Mazda that, uh, that approached him. Could he give more room than that? Maybe, but... Also, that could have made that much worse than it needed to be. But you're always going to have that problem with people all over the world in these road races. The 21 just parking it on the Apex. It's kind of up to... Uh, up to the guy passing to get it done, but this is after the race, what we're seeing, the guy blowing his engine and this guy just fooling around. So that was all guys just messing around after it's over, and after we got the win of the Mazdas. But uh, of course the only other <laughs> Mustang was on his own. But uh, our class, we win the class, and uh, felt pretty good. Didn't really uh, feel too worried at any one point there, the only thing that really gave us too much of a concern was... The uh, lap cars, and even that wasn't too bad. We were able to navigate that pretty good. So, you know what? That's very nice. I don't think that could have gone any better, really. Um, maybe not the most exciting win. Uh, we didn't really have to battle too much for it, but hey, win's a win, and uh, it was a fun race driving around here on uh, at Sakuba. So, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.